All right, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to try to move one of my Ryzen 9 3900X CPU rigs over to the Monero Ocean mining pool. Uh, I have been mining on Raptorium, which you see here, but look, it's just been tanking down. Down from, man, it was up it, down to 0 0.023. It just seems to be going down. I don't know if it's related to the hacker thing where they commandeered some HP high-end servers, drove that double the hash rate, and then dumped. And I don't know if that's affecting the Raptorium price. So what I then did is a couple days ago switched over to Avion. If I can make that come up here, I'll show you that. So I have a few rigs running on here now. And I'm running on CoinMinerZ.com, the pool. But I'm thinking, what else is profitable? How do people know which coin is profitable? There's so many out there. And you can go to Unminable, and you can poke around there and run their software and mine Dogecoin, Litecoin. You can do that. But I, I'm, I'm going from a point of ignorance. I just don't know enough to, uh, to know what to mine and to keep switching. And do I stay on a, a coin <clears throat> only to find out it's not profitable anymore. So it's it's kind of very, I'm in, I'm in a place of learning. And so I heard about this Monero Ocean, and I said, that seems like it's going to solve my problem for the short term, till, be, till I become more uh, educated in the domain of CPU mining, how to determine which, uh, which coins are profitable, which CPUs work best for a coin, which uh, software mining uh, tool to use, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You see what I'm saying? There's a lot of variables, and they just play whack-a-mole like I've been doing, like switching over to Avion. I, CPU mining, is this good or not? It's green, it's up. It seems to be holding, going sideways up 323%. But I, I started mining in here, as you can see. I didn't start when it was down here. So, I, yeah, I kind of missed the, the uh, moon launch on that guy. So now I'm thinking, what can I do to minimize this chasing the uh, chasing the squirrel around the backyard, as, as so to speak, chasing the coin around the backyard? What's the most profitable? So, like I said, Monero Ocean came to mind. And so, what is this thing? Let's go find out together. We're going to learn together here. And maybe some of you guys are experts at this. Please let me know if I'm doing this wrong, because I am learning. The only best way—I mean, the best way to learn is by screwing up, because then you learn. If, so, if something's just handed to you and you just give it and it turns on and runs, you, have you learned anything? No, you got it working, yeah, but it's sometimes best to try yourself. You learn, you make mistakes, and you move on. You become better. Okay, so what is Monero Ocean? I just went to their Twitter page. Monero Ocean XMR, it's a mining pool. They mine the most profitable coins for your existing CPU and GPU hardware, and they pay out in... Monero, XM, which is ticker symbol XMR. So you will need a uh, Monero wallet. And uh, so I use, um, by chance, Exodus. So Exodus, I can set up an XM wallet. And it's a huge, huge hash code right here, just a huge wallet address. So there's your XMR. You can mine it to Exodus, which is kind of nice. There you go. So I'm going to do that. That's one, that's one down. So what is this thing? So what do we do? They got a website. Uh, they go through and they tell you, oh, here they mentioned some of the blocks they found, all the coins. We can go look and see what coins they have. So I was curious, what is this doing? So let's go to Mon uh, MoneroOcean.stream. Oh, let's go to the uh, different mode here. If you can read that. Yeah, we can go up here. This is better. Maybe that's better reading. Let's go up here and... There was a coin list, coins. All right, this shows you all the coins that they uh, currently monitor. And they can go out, and they're going to do all the work for you. They're going to see which ones are the most profitable. And what is interesting to me is, I don't know, this This might be new. They added Raptorium, which is the Ghost Rider algorithm. And then they show you the profit here. See, I can't find this information anywhere else. And the only way to really find it is to do it yourself, and that's a lot of effort and uh, you got to have a lot of rigs and time and keeping track of stats payouts I like that they do this and you can see 
what they're doing. They're monitoring these codes. There, there's um, Ergo, Ethash is in there, which is, again, is popular, right? We all know Ethash. Uh, what else do we got here? We recognize RTM, as we, we mentioned, Ravencoin. That solves another uh, checkbox for me. Ravencoin and uh, Ethereum and uh, Monero. Is Monero? They pay out in Monero. Let's see what's down here. Oh, XMR. Interesting. They got XMR in there. Uh, what else? I don't recognize anything else. So here you go. Here's all the coins. So to me, this is kind of cool. It's showing you the profit, the reward, how many accounts I think are on this thing. A lot of guys are on Monero XMR. Look at that, 47, 42. Uh, the biggest one is, again, is, oh, okay, this is interesting. So you do see that there are uh, 1,100, 1,110 uh, 1, accounts working on uh, Raptorium. And it goes across. So this is kind of good. Let them, well, look at this guy. Ethash, of course, is kicking butt. Uh, I like it. They, 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 do all the, uh, uh, they do all the legwork for you, which is kind of nice. Let's go back to, where was their Twitter page? Yeah, they mine the most profitable coins for your existing CPU. And I think they determine based on your setup what is gonna work best for your configuration if you're running a GPU or a CPU. So like I said, I may run, I'm gonna start with one CPU rig and just to see how this goes. I have new to me and all this stuff. So let's go back, newbie guide. Uh, let's see, go over to the right here, click. Click, click again. Come on, little menu. All right, this doesn't want to work for me. Let's go over here. And we're in the home. And let's go over to, click on home. Let's go to help. And we already have the wallet, as we mentioned. We're using our Exodus. We're going to install the mining software. Now, this is interesting to me. I was excited to see they had XMR, but it looks like they uh, they have their own fork of XMR. So select the miner that best suits your hardware. Then follow their instructions, and they go for the for their version for the top profit. Algo algorithm is switching mining on CPU and GPU, NVIDIA and AMD. So they recommend using their XMR. Monero Ocean XM rig. Let's click on that. And let's see here. All right. I am going to do Windows. Let's go ahead and click on the Windows 64. And oh, it hates it because there's probably a nice EXE in there. So what I do here, there's a couple ways to get around this. I go to the far right. See that? I go to click on Show All on the bottom right. I am on, um, I think I'm on Chrome. Yes, I'm on Chrome on this guy. So I click show all. I say keep that very dangerous file. Click on that. And I say keep anyway. All right, now it's going to download it. And XM rig, MO2, there it is. Let's go show in folder. Kablamo. And what are we going to do here? Let's, uh, I already have my WinRAR, my unzipper. Yeah, WinRAR zip archive. Unzipper install. Let's click on that. And I'm going to extract this. And I have a miner folder set up. Let's go to C, miners, CPU. And I'm just going to put it, since it's not really a specific coin, I'm just going to put this right here. I'm going to call it. I'm just going to call it slash Monero Ocean. It should have autofilled, but I don't know why it didn't. So let's just go ahead. Let's try to create that for, oh, let's just see if it creates it for me. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, let's go check it out real quick. Hope I didn't screw it up. Miners, come on. I'm remoted in, that's why this is a little clunky, using Chrome Remote Desktop. All right, there it is, Monero Ocean. And there it is, XM Rig and all this stuff. Uh, what my first thing I always do with these things now, I, it's just habit, right click, uh, go to properties, then compatibility, and let this thing run as admin. 
run this program as administrator, apply. You can just hit OK, but I hit apply. All right, next step is we're going to config this guy. So I just do right click. Uh, I have Notepad++. And it's a different setup from the other batch files. I'm used to, they're using a single command line with all the arguments. This is a kind of a JSON config file. So you got to go through it here and set it up accordingly. And then if you scroll down, there you can see all the settings here. You can go right on down. Here's your pulls. And you want to look for about line 71 is your wallet address. All right, so we're going to go to our Exodus, which we showed you earlier. This is my Monero address. Since they pay out in XMR, you have your Monero address. I'm going to copy it. Copy to my clipboard. And I remember the fast, last four letters, just to make sure. I'm going to go get rid of this. Double click, backspace, and let's see if it paste. Please paste. Blam up. Yes. Uh, let's see. That's a big address. So BGSY. And I'm going to check the front of that. 43DK. All right, I got it. I just never messed with this XMR stuff before. Okay, so there you go. And now we want to go ahead and check the URL we are mining on. So let's try to figure out how to do that together. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, let's go to Monero. Let's go to Help. Configure settings. Wow, okay, it gives you all this stuff. Uh, let's see, Monero address, your port. The miner will want to want a URL pull like Gosh, okay. Well, how do we find that? We're going to have to go figure that one out. And was it on the front page? Home. Okay. There's our standard miner setup golf. Monero Ocean dot stream. And then there's the port or that, and if for SSL, you can do that. So what did we have set up? Golf dot Monero Ocean dot stream. Golf dot Monero Ocean dot stream 10128. Okay, so they already had that set up. That is pretty cool. Okay, let's go back to help. Whoops, there we go. Configure your settings. All right, we already looked at that. And then I want to check that again. What was that port number? 10128. 101, modern CPU, GPU. Okay, so I'm on this guy right here. You see that? That's what they gave me. So modern CPU, GPU, that's correct. That's a good setting. I'll stick with that. Uh, you can um, also set your worker name. Let's go do that. Let's just do it right here. Dot. And this is, which rig are we on here? Nine. Niner. Okay. Let's save that. And let's see. Let's go back to help. Okay, looking back on the Monero Ocean stream page, uh, you can uh, see we did the wallet address. We left the port as is. We left the mining pool as is. And here's the other available pool addresses if you're interested. But they give you this one right here, golf. Uh, right here on this line, golf Monero Ocean dot stream. And this is the main guy. They will determine which one is the best one for your locale, your location. So I just leave that is as is, and uh, I am leaving the port as is as well. You can go through some other facts in here. But for me, let's go up here and look. I forgot to mention there is a 0% dev fee. And I think there is also, I cannot confirm that right now, a 0% mining pool fee. I don't see that listed right here. Um, but I think we're good to go. We got our wallet address. We named our worker. It's going to give us, you know, we have the main pool set. It's going to help us. And then I think what happens now is they go through and they benchmark the rig. What are you running on the rig, the memory, the CPU? And it's going to find 
what's going to be the most profitable coin at the time for that rig. And so we just spin it up and hopefully it just starts churning, doing the benchmark. It takes a little bit of time, then once it's happy, it's going to start mining for you. Uh, let me see if there's anything else in here. Yes, here's the question I like. Yes, mining fee is zero. However, please note that there is also uh, a withdrawal transfer fee. Okay, there's also a small exchange fee. Also, web mining fee is 3%. Paid at the web miner, software developer. Okay, there you go. Is this open source or accepting cryptocurrency donations? Okay, uh, let's see. Anything else? I think we're good to go. You can go through and read this yourself. Do your own research. I'm just pointing this out. I'm just giving this a try, and I thought I would just share my little experience setting this thing up. Okay, we're good to go there. Let's go back to nine. I got this in here. I'm not touching anything else. Uh, this is the config file. I'm gonna save it. It's saved. So right now, let's shrink this down. Get some space back here. I am currently mining. I have a GPU on here, but it's mining something else. <clears throat> and this is CPU mining the Avion. I'm gonna kill this. All right, let's get rid of it. He is toast. All right, we got rid of Avion. What do we got here? This is, we don't need this anymore. I'm just cleaning out some stuff. So now we should be able to good to go. Click on it, it should give me the alert. Do you want to run this? Let's say yes. See what happens. So here we are, it's going through. Yes, there's the benchmark, can you see that? It might be too small, sorry about that. There's no red errors, so everything looks good. Algorithm Ghostwriter preparation, use profile Ghostwriter. It's got my uh, Ryzen. And it's going through the benchmark right now. So as, as always, I'm an idiot. This is a Ryzen 5 1600 6-core. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on one of my Ryzen 9 3900s. I think I picked this one because the display, when I remote in, at least is readable, whereas the other ones are running headless, and it's just like 680 by 480. It's just really unreadable to make a video with. So what's happening here is it's on the um, benchmarking. It's still done the benchmark. It's going through each algorithm. So it started with Ghost Rider. Uh, it checks the hash rate. Next one was CN slash R, CN light. Checks the hash rate on each. Uh, it's just gonna go through all the hashes, CPU, CPU, minor, speed. So there you go. I mean, there's, there's how you set up. I'm just gonna let this rip on here. It's got my pull listed up here. Algorithm is auto. And that's what I want. I want it to switch for me between the most profitable coin for my CPU rig. Because I was just sitting there and I going, okay, I did Raptorium. It looks like it's tanking. I don't know, is that good or bad? Do I switch to another coin? I switched over to Avion to give it a shot because it was going up. It had such a spike. And it had a new miner. It wasn't too terrible to set up. And it seems to maximize all the threads on your CPU. And I thought, okay, let's try that. Then I'm just going, well, there's got to be an easier way. I don't have the knowledge yet to go through every CPU algorithm and coin to figure out what's the most prob profitable right now at this time. And it, I just needed some help. And then I saw Monero Ocean. I said, this might be my solution kind of as an entry point to learn this stuff, you know, get more knowledge. And also just looking at their coins. Let's go back. coins. I mean, just seeing all these coins on here, ETH, and they, of course, got the um, two right there. Ra uh, Ravencoin, I never mind. I was doing Ravencoin Lite. I don't know. I think that became Avion. So did I lose my Ravencoin Lite coins? I need to figure that out now. That's another problem. And they got Raptorium. I think that was just added, but there's a lot of accounts over there. Thousand, thousand accounts. That seems out of the, well, XMR is the most accounts. That's Monero. 
So I like this in that it has a lot of coins. It's going to solve a lot of my problems and worry about which is the most profitable. So I'm going to run this rig, the Ryzen 5, and then I'm going to also go set up a Ryzen 9 also since I learned it wasn't, this is painless to set up. Just download the Monero Ocean Miner, put in your Monero um, wallet address, set the worker name, Kablamo, let it go, and just see, see what happens. So it's still going through the algorithms for the benchmark test. Uh, it might take a little bit, so that's it. I mean, that's all I got right now. Oh, it checks the presets. No errors, no warnings. Yep, looking pretty good. So there you go, guys. What do you think? Have you used this thing? Have you used Monero Ocean? Am I, am I making a wise choice here to, to start switching my CPU miners over here? And I don't want to say set and forget, but just set it and knowing that this polling you know, best, best in breed, best in show, you know, whatever best performance coins are going to be picked up in mining pool thing. I, I think this may be the best solution for me. Hope this helps. It helps me. It's good to go through it, talk it out, uh, go through the steps and it's different, but the same, you know what I mean? You're downloading, you're trying to figure out what they're doing. And, uh, hopefully the added benefit of the lower fees. I know there's transfer fees, but that's the same. Fees are to be expected, but I like there's like a 0% fee, and that's great. I mean, anything to help people start using your platform. All right, that's all I got. Hope this helps. This is kind of interesting. I like learning new things, and I'm by, by no means am I an expert. The goal is to learn how to do this, start using it, and then become an expert. And the fact that they have one of the coins I was mining, Raptorium, and then they have another coin I was looking to get into, Ravencoin, in this mining pool makes it a win and they also have ETH hash and, and XMR Monero. I think that's great. That's almost a win-win right there and the fees can't be beat as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hey, if this helps you guys, go ahead and share it around. Give a thumbs up. Helps me out. Trying to see if we can get the channel growing a little bit. Put some useful information out. We can all learn together and the community has been awesome. They, people post some useful stuff. Help me get more hash out of my GPUs and CPUs and, and uh, vice versa, you know? It's awesome. Awesome community, man. Everyone's working together. Everyone wants to be successful, help others be successful. And that's what it's all about. All right. Take care, guys. I am out.